there is an overwhelming amount of things we need to keep track of to maintain our health in this modern world. Whether it's as direct as pollutants in the water supply or as mischievous as the plethora of disinformation available to us. Whether that's online, in a book, your local snake oil salesman. Many people focus on perfecting one aspect of their health, typically diet, and ignore the other ones. What we're going to focus on today, including diet, water quality, EMF exposure, sunlight, exercise, air quality, and sleep. Because even if you have a 100% perfect diet, yes, that certainly helps. If the other aspects are not correct, it can be difficult to become optimally healthy and on a more important scale, if you are having any health issues to ultimately recover and feel better. One significant thing to note is that many of my videos come from the perspective of being near liver failure and having severe digestive issues. So when I go over this stuff, this is like, you know, if you're on your deathbed, if you have cancer, if you're literally dying, this is what you would do hypothetically. You know, there's a big discrepancy between myself and the average person who is skating by eating McDonald's every day. Yeah, they're probably, you know, not physically healthy, feeling good, and their brain's not functioning, but, you know, at least they're not suffering severely from a health perspective because of some factors we'll talk about. Now, I've never actually looked up the definition of diminishing returns. My understanding of it is from uh, playing World of Warcraft as a kid. That's a, a whole different story. It means loosely the more you put into something you don't necessarily get an equivalent amount back you know like if you're thirsty and you want to hydrate and drink some water you know once you drink a certain amount of water you're hydrated if you keep drinking water you're not necessarily going to get more hydrated so the theme today is you know if you necessarily put a hundred percent into diet it's not going to make up for drinking crappy water you know, that's not how it works. You want to get to a certain percentage with all of them to ultimately feel good. That being said, some of them are more important than others. You know, being 100% perfect on your diet and 0% on sunlight is better than 50% on diet and 50% on sunlight. But overall, the point is you want to be as aware and as close as realistically possible to being optimal with each of these components. So you guys can see them listed here. Diet, water, EMF, air, sun, exercise. Didn't have room for sleep on here. And I did want to apologize for the uh, glare from my window. I gotta look up, maybe there's some type of board that doesn't reflect, but it's very difficult to get natural light in a room and not have it reflect on a, uh, on a whiteboard. So you know, I look a little better, but it's a little harder to read. So. Most of you know what diet I currently follow. It's a very restrictive liver detox, but from the standard American diet perspective, most people want to switch to high quality foods, organic, grass fed, high quality, you know, like corn and soy free eggs, high quality local dairy. We have that on Frankie Strange meat, that type of stuff. Eat a balanced diet of meats, grains, some fruits and vegetables here and there. You guys can check out my food pyramid video for the more restrictive version of a healthy diet, but uh, what I said right now is a very good first step for most people because they're able to keep the foods they enjoy in their life. It's just they have to invest a little more time or money in buying higher quality stuff and preparing it themselves. Getting to 100% on diet would be easy if it was just about following food choices, but drinking properly made probiotics, taking the right vitamin and mineral supplements, and uh, a few other things can really hold people back. You know, if it was easy to just eat healthy from a conventional perspective, most people would have done it already. Up second, we have water. And I haven't done any videos dedicated to water in a while now, maybe even a year or two, besides talking trash about, <laughs> uh, you guys remember the New York City mayor? sucking down that fluoridated tap water, telling people to stay hydrated and how good New York shitty, <laughs> fruity and slip, huh? New York shitty water, how good it is for you. Um, although I do mention water a lot in most of my videos, 
Uh, you want to be drinking water that is free from pollutants, obviously fluoride, chlorine, there's antibiotic and birth control residues, molecules and chemicals from plastics and manufacturing. A lot of you guys are asking me about filtration systems, whatever it is, I don't care what you're filtering that water through. You gotta get it from a well, you know, glass bottle mineral water, spring water, because regardless of how much you filter your water source, hey, you can shower with it, you can clean your dishes with it, you can clean your clothes with it, but do not drink it. Uh, the most significant thing I overlook in regards to water is the food sources that contain water. If the organic bread you're buying is made with fluoridated water, New York City tap water, you're throwing away a lot of your efforts. You know, it's kind of silly. You're spending all this money on food, mineral water, and then you eat a bagel that fluoridates your brain. So it's better to make things yourself if you can't confirm the water source. You know, one thing you guys probably saw me doing for a while was buying like organic bread from the supermarket when the rest of my diet was completely homemade from scratch I'm rinsing my freaking plates in water so just be mindful of that you know if you're all the way there you might as well put in a little more effort so next up we have emf which stands for electric and magnetic fields however the most significant form of emf that we should be concerned about is radio frequency radiation which is from wi-fi cell towers most modern devices people are using, whether it's Amazon Alexa or Netflix. And, you know, back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, before cell phones, the low radiation was why a lot of people were so much healthier. You know, we were still being poisoned in other ways, but since then, especially with AirPods and all this new technology and smart stuff, it has increased a lot. And radiation impairs all organs, digestion, sleep, energy, so if you're not sure why you're unhealthy, go camping in the woods for a day or two without technology, and then when you feel like a new person, you could say, okay, maybe it wasn't some like uh, conspiracy tinfoil stuff when Frank talks about radiation. Uh, so what I do is I wear protective clothing throughout the day. I have you know, my Wi-Fi shielding.com attire underneath my freshly pressed dress shirt and slacks, and then you want to sleep in a canopy. Uh, so we have bed canopies on Wi-Fi shielding.com too. I think they're out of stock right now. I also did a video on how to build a Faraday cage. But by doing those two minimally invasive things, you know, it's no real effort to wear an undershirt. It's no real effort to sleep in a canopy. Maybe a little money investment, you'll feel better. You know, you could be in the middle of New York City in an apartment and you might have to pay for more stuff, but you can still get a pretty high percentage of the way there just by doing that. You don't have to be in the boondocks sleeping in the woods. Uh, ground at least once per day. So this is kind of separate from the electric and magnetic field stuff, but being in physical contact with the earth, we also have grounding rods and wires on Wi-Fi shielding. If you guys are not familiar with that, you plug a metal rod into your ground, uh, the ground outside, just like the electricity in your house is grounded. You ever touch a light switch and you get shocked? That's because the light switch is attached to the earth via a ground and your body is discharging that positive electricity into the light switch. That's a, why you need to ground every day. That's very, very significant. And if you are in a low EMF area, definitely just check out my, um, my grounding videos to go more in depth on that because I don't wanna get too into that today. I don't wanna go too in depth on everything. We have videos for every single thing I'm talking about here. Even for things like air quality. Although over the past few years, I've been focusing on it from a simpler perspective of opening your windows up. However, with the recent nonsense in New York being poisoned by the goon squad, there are definitely more precautions that need to be taken, such as air filtration in the home, wearing masks in polluted areas, you know, driving in heavy traffic in cities, you wanna wear a mask too. The average CO2 level in most areas, even outside, seems to be way too high because of what they are doing to our atmosphere. So I'm exploring some options. Uh, right now where I moved, the uh, air quality isn't as bad significantly, but there are still some pretty hard days. I have air filters running inside. Uh, I've looked into oxygen tanks and medical grade stuff. Maybe you guys know more about that. Uh, unless you pretend you're a welder, you need a medical prescription. So they also keep hypothetical solutions to what they're doing very hard to access. You know, 
not everyone's going to be able to buy a $500 oxygen tank and, and have some relief when this type of stuff happens. So again, if you guys know more about that stuff besides like buying small cans of oxygen that are very expensive or beyond air filtration, I think because oxygen tanks aren't really that expensive, I think just getting access to them and finding a reasonable solution is something I can explore in the future because not everyone can just hop out of the city and relocate. Sunlight. Our bodies need vitamin D for a variety of hormones as well as keeping fat soluble vitamin ratios in balance for overall health and development. The natural process of recycling the skin during tanning is critical in vitamin balance because it uses up a lot of the nutrient stores that our bodies keep for this purpose of skin recycling specifically. And sun isn't as important as the previous three because you can literally be poisoning yourself with these first few. However, getting the sun might be your final step in feeling better. You know, the diet, the water, the radiation, the air quality, you could literally be coughing your lungs out and feel like you're dying. Yet, you know, most people can, I mean, go a lot of their lives without getting any sun whatsoever and they're seemingly not falling apart. You know, it, again, it's very, very important you definitely want to get as much sun as possible, but it's not as severely damaging to your health if you don't. Moving on to exercise. Depending on your job and physical goals, exercise might not be necessary and the type of exercise is subjective. If you work a physical labor job, construction, even a waiter or bartender where you're on your feet moving a lot all day, you're getting plenty of physical activity. If you work a desk job, however, then you probably need to consider an exercise routine seriously. Outside of that, it's helpful to build up a base of muscle mass with a hypertrophy program. So even when you stop working out, you'll maintain most of it. You know, one to two years of hard work in the gym will stick with you for the rest of your life. I think I've spoken about this before when I did the exercise stuff. It, you know, if you're doing construction and you've never really worked out in the gym in your life, you're building up a lot of tendon strength, ligament strength, and bones. And you do that still after weightlifting. It's just if you don't build up the muscle in the gym and stimulate it and get that mind-muscle connection going, you know, if you do that, you'll go from you know, stressing your other tissues in your body besides your muscles a lot less. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mi mixing, mincing words here. However, you'll be able to stimulate the muscles a lot easier when you're doing your physical labor job if you have the base of muscle. The muscle will take the stress off the tendons, off the ligaments, off of you know, the other parts of your body. So there is a degree of training that you want to do. You don't have to exactly be a bodybuilder, but you want to have an even amount of muscle development. Uh, we have that maximum volume hypertrophy routine on frank-stefan.com if you guys want to check it out. Uh, sleep, as I said earlier, I didn't have room on here for this. Obviously, the most important feeling good. You know, everyone knows how they feel if they don't sleep. The other lifestyle factors determine your sleep. So if your diet is good, if you're sleeping in the EMF canopy, Faraday cage, low radiation environment, if the air quality is pure enough, you know, if you're active a few hours a day to keep your gut motility moving and make sure the food's digested before you go to bed, you should sleep like a baby. The modern solutions to sleep issues are not addressing the root cause. Although there are specifics in each of these categories that can be done for sleep that I didn't mention. You know, maybe in the diet you need some masticum and charcoal before bed. Maybe for the radiation you need to test the levels. Uh, you know, there's, you know, if you can't breathe, <laughs> you're not obviously going to be able to sleep if the air quality is bad enough. Uh, you know, getting a lot of sun can help you sleep. And we said exercise too can help you sleep. But uh, if you guys watch other videos on my channel, you can get uh, more of an idea of uh, each of these things in depth and understand what you specifically need to do. So I guess that's everything for today. Thank you guys for joining me. If you may, please go to frank stefancom and support me through all of my businesses. Guys, we did a lot of restocks on Frankie's Syringe Meat. We have a clearance sale on organ supplements. We're basically blowing everything out. And we should have some organ powders back in a few months. I'm not sure when those are coming. Frankie's Naturals, maybe some new stuff soon. Wi-Fi shielding, bed canopies should be back in stock soon. 
Frankie Strange Foods, Frankie Strange Meat. Uh, I mean, if there's any time, any specific point in time that I'm going to ask you guys to support me, uh, it's going to be over these next few months to year as you know, I move into this new place that I'm situated. And then, you know, when things get going a little more, then I won't have to worry as much about pushing sales every week. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we have the duck eggs coming back on Friday on the meat. And then I'm also going to do a chicken sale. Uh, this weekend. So guys, keep an eye out on your emails for that. If you're not, subscribe to uh, the newsletter on Frankie Strange Meat or frank com. Guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave that comment down below. Make fun of my outfit. Do something. Uh, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys soon.